Okay, so I have been meaning to make a video about my Rodan and Fields Unblemish Regimen, kind of like a product review for a while, um, but I've been putting it off because I'm not using it and it's been so long ago, but every time I want to buy something, I read the reviews and I look up YouTube videos and try to figure out what other people have thought in the past. So I feel like it's important to do my part and to say my piece. So the Rodan and Fields Unblemish Re Regimen was recommended to me um, by an old high school friend. She, We met, we talked about my acne issue. Um, I'll insert some pictures throughout. I think I took a picture a week, um, kind of like um, showing my progress. But... Um, I was not pleased with the results. Um, so I'll insert my beginning picture here. And then I'll just go through a little bit about what the products are. So the first product, and I don't have one to show you, is the face wash. And it is purple, which I love, clearly. And it's kind of gritty, but it's not like a bad gritty. It's really fine, so it feels really good. Um, if I was able to like just have the face wash, I would probably do that, but it's really expensive and I'm not willing to do that. Um, the second product is the clarifying toner. And the first time, the first week that I used this, it really burned. Um, I applied it like I was supposed to and it just really hurt. My, it made my face really red and it was really uncomfortable. The third step is the dual intensive acne treatment and you take a pump of each and you rub it in and this was like cooling, but it was cooling compared to the toner. Um, so the acne treatment felt good. Um, and then the last step was the shine free lotion. It has SPF in it. The lotion made my skin feel drier than without using it and it also made it very very white. Um, I'll insert a picture here of the m first morning that I used it. So I used the first three steps the night before and then I used the, sh the shine free lotion the next morning going to work and my face was so dry. It was peeling. It felt horrible. It was super white. Um, it just I was I was so upset. But I figured, like, the first day, it's fine. It's not a big deal. The first week, it's still getting used to it. So I thought, like, week two, week three, things would start getting better. My face would start clearing up. Here are some more pictures. Um, and it just didn't. I used the products up until the 60-day return money back guarantee window which I kept a close eye on because I it was expensive I think all of it together for me was a hundred and twenty dollars or something like that so it was definitely expensive but I figured if I'm going to invest my money in something it might as well be my face and my skin because um, my face hurt it wasn't like I was ashamed of just the way that I looked like the pimples the acne it hurt so badly that when I put on a hoodie and it would like get caught on your chin you know how it kind of like gets caught it hurt until I would cry so it wasn't like an appearance thing for me it was just like my faint my face was in pain um, so the unblemish regimen just didn't help for me um, turns out I went back to my dermatologist and I was I told them like hey this I tried everything it just doesn't work and turns out that the kind of acne that I had was um, hormonal acne so most of it was here you can still see like I'm scarred uh, my face is it has the scarring from old pieces of acne. Um, I never really had much on my forehead, but it's like little little pieces. Um, my nose always always had some pimple. There's a scar on it there, um, but like all around here, constantly was broke broken out. You can still see the scarring. And this is months 
four months after I've tried the unblemished regimen. But right now, this is the best my acne has been in a really long time. Uh, I had a pimple here and I have something coming up here. But other than that, like, I've been pretty good and I'm happy. Um, so right now, I am on a spironolactin pill that is supposed to take care of your hormones, settle your hormones. I don't really know what it does. I'm also on minocycline that does something about acne. And I have a tretinoin cream that is kind of harsh on my face. So I use it for, a f I've, I was using it for a month, two months in a row. And then my face started to hurt and get really dry. Um, and I was in the sun, so that didn't really help. So I stopped using the cream and I like just put lotion on my face religiously to keep it hydrated. Um, so now my face doesn't hurt and now I'm starting back on the tretinoin cream. Um, and then I'm also on like a hormonal birth control thing. So all in all, um, things are getting better. And it's just about you have to find something that works for you. Here are some before and after photos. And... Overall, Rodan and Fields is just not my thing. I'm not saying that it's not a great thing, but for my acne, it didn't work. Overall, the best part was the customer service. When I went to return my package, I accidentally shipped it to an old business address. So it was shipped back to me and I didn't want to pay for shipping again. The customer service rep that I got a hold of was incredible. She covered the shipping to actually get it to the correct facility. And then they also refunded me the entire amount of my money before I even shipped it back to them because of the hassle. So customer service wise, they're great. Product wise, just not for me. So overall, I hope this helped. Um, I hope it gives you a little bit of insight. My suggestion would be know what kind of acne you have before you get a product that is not worth it for you. But just figure out something that works for you and you will be pretty well off. If you're interested in more videos like this, please subscribe. I'm just kidding. No one's going to subscribe because this is kind of boring. But anyway, I just thought that it was important for me to share with you my experience and I hope it helps.